Welcome back to Chow Time with Sammy Larson and yeah. Peter Pan. Yeah. Today, the star of our meal is pumpkin. Pumpkin is good for everything, for humans and dogs. We're going to make these amazing pumpkin oat banana treats that are going to blow your mind. Oh my God. They're perfect any time of the year and I really love making them kind of when the summer changes to fall because everything becomes pumpkin and it's like one of our favorite times of the year, right Pete? We love all times of the year. But these pumpkin treats are amazing. With a couple simple ingredients, you are gonna be amazed at how delicious, yummy, and healthy these pumpkin oat banana treats are. So I wanna talk a little bit about pumpkin because pumpkin is like, Oh my God, it's just so amazing. It does all these amazing, amazing things. It's filled with vitamin A, which is good for humans and dogs. Vitamin A helps doggies' eyes. It helps their internal organs. It's an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory. And we know that that helps everything. It's also really good for everything internal. It helps constipation and it also helps diarrhea. How cool is that? Oh my God. It also helps get rid of worms and intestinal parasites. So there's just so many cool things in the pumpkin that help so many different organs and it helps the doggy skin, the coat, and their eyes. Just like it helps us, it helps their little eyes. So it's really awesome all around. And you can eat pumpkin, just cook, like if you just chop it out of the pumpkin, throw it in the oven for about an hour till it's soft, you can eat it like that. But I wanted to jazz it up with these awesome cookies. There's so many cool things you can do and today we're gonna make these pumpkin oat banana treats. So stay tuned and watch this magic happen with our magical pumpkin. So we're going to use two cups of holy flour. See? Any holy flour will do. Always try to get organic. If you can't, it's okay. And we're gonna use a half a cup of oats, these little happy-go-lucky oats. <laughs> oats never did me wrong. I just use old-fashioned whole wheat oats. They're good for everything. The pumpkin I was telling you about, unsweetened with no spices, no added sugars. I just got a regular old Kroger um, canned pumpkin. One egg. Eggs are always fun. A good old banana, really ripe banana because no good treat is good without a banana. Then we're gonna put a little cinnamon on, a little honey, and of course our baileys because you know, if you don't follow us and this is your first time watching, Peter has seizures and a heart condition so we give him baileys daily and we put it on all his food. Also, if you do follow us, you know that this has been helping his seizures and his heart condition, and I take it too for my insomnia. So we love Bailey's. So stay tuned and you're gonna see how I make these cookies. So I lined my little cookie sheet whoop, with coconut oil. Now we're gonna do the mix. So we start with our flour, very easy. You add in oats, whoop, easy and fun. Bye. Okay, we're gonna add in this egg. Whoop. This is very magical. Now I'm not using meat. We're not using any meat, so I am not going to put on my gloves because I always handle meat with gloves. And we're gonna put in our banana. And I love mixing with my hands. It's a lot of fun and I feel like it gets the job done. Sometimes it's just so much to take out equipment to do this fun little thing that I can do with my hands, you know? And if you have human kids, they can help you with this. It's really easy and fun. Here is our pumpkin. Oh my God, Pete wants to lick it. All right, so that goes in there. Boom, boom, boom. So this goes in here. This is all the magic. And then you just kind of mush it around with your hands. What do you think, Pete? Pete wants to help, but it's really hard when he gets all this mishmash on his paws, it's really hard to get it off. So you mush it around like this, and this is gonna make a nice ball. So this is like a nice ball cookie, but you can really make it anytime. I just like using foods that are seasonal. It seems like a lot more fun, you know, and pumpkins are on season. So we're going to, as you can see, 
Look, it's making a nice ball on its own. It's really fun. You can take out a lot of frustrations on your dough here. It works really good. It's coming into the ball nicely. And you can feel good about making this for your family because it's really, really healthy. So here is our, whoops, our bowl of dough. I have washed my hands. Also with the cinnamon, I just put a little dash and I just put a little bit of honey for a nice smell and just kind of, as you can tell, Peter loves it. Now on these, I'm just gonna show you guys and make a couple here, five, but this makes about 12 to 15 of these cookies. And I just did a cute little doodad on top. I took this little banana, since they are, they have bananas in them, and I put bananas on top just to kind of make them cute. I just squished it down like that. <laughs> kind of, it was like my take on a thumbprint cookie, just to kind of make it cute and nice and just, uh, you know, Peter really loves the bananas and I don't know, just kind of makes it cute, you know. Who wants to be boring? Anyone can be a drip and bore. Let's at least make it fun and exciting. And nothing says fun like bananas. I mean, seriously, right, Pete? So, now we are going to put these in our toaster oven that's been heated to 350. <gasps> And when you guys come right back, I'm gonna take them out and you're gonna see these mwah, magical, amazing, oops, what I almost forget. <laughs> I almost forgot the Baileys. What do you think, Pete? I think I need a little bit of Baileys myself. What do you think, Pete? Oops, not that much. Hmm. So like I was saying for Pete, just to show you guys how I do it. I know you want it too, right, Pete? Just to show you guys, when I make the treats for Pete, I put six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, ding. That way I know. And they cook down, believe me. Wait till you see. All right, guys, come right back. And we're gonna take them out of the toaster. All right, see you later, alligators. Come right back. Ding, yay. <gasps> Hi, cooks. Look, pumpkins. You don't want to burn your hand, do ya? Oh my God, you smell that, Pete? Woo wee! Pete's loving it. Oh my goodness, you don't want to burn your hands. We're very excited about our pumpkin o banana treats. Let's give one a little try, Pete. Mmm. Oh my God, don't they smell good, Pete? Yum. Let's give them a little try. They're nice and chewy gooey. Nothing like warm cookies out of the oven. Mm -mm -mm. Nice and chewy. Peter Pan. Pete loves his cookies. Good boy. All right, guys. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and follow me and the best sous chef. Peter Pan, on our journey, we take all the meals you love and treat and make them dog safe. And we talk about the benefits and the nutrition. Look at how awesome these chewy, gooey, pumpkin-y, oaty, banana treats came out. Oh my God. And I wanna give it a shout out to Bailey's. You know, Bailey's, our CBD, the link's below. And then also a shout out to one of our best friends. She makes these beautiful necklaces. This one is pink quartz which is for opening up your heart and feeling love and having unconditional love and just being open to love. Peter loves it also. So if you like what you see guys, hit that subscribe button, follow our journey, and we'll see you next time at Chow Time with Sammy Larson and Peter Pan. Pete loves his cookies. You break them up because he'll just eat it in one piece. <laughs> Good boy. Chopping his cookie. I'll break it up next time. Good boy. So healthy. You got it all. What the heck are you doing without your mama?